Hello everyone, another liberal gun owner video. I am the liberal gun owner. Today we're going to be looking at something in a shiny silver box. This is from Smith Built Manufacturing, which I believe means made in China and branded for them. This is actually what they call the blackout model. Uh, free float 12 inch rail system for the AR-15. Take this out, just give it a quick look for quality. See if there are any nicks. Let's see, that's rubbing off, so I don't see any. Climb down, that's just some oil there. Little manufacturing marks there. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can get it on this side. Some manufacturing just right there on that edge. But other than that, it is T marked on the top and get this light a little better there we go some light on us there there's the barrel nut oh it's screwed yeah i don't have the i'm not gonna spend the time to unscrew this and do the barrel nut i'll i'll do that off camera and cut right back but yeah decent little rail fairly reasonably light for a free float so that's the rail it comes with two key mod rail sections. Comes with the screws and nuts to hold the key mod rail sections in place. And also you can see here the uh, Allen screws that hold in the barrel nut. So let me cut away. I'll take this, uh, see if I can get this barrel nut out. And we'll come right back, take a look at that. Okay, I got the barrel nut from our Smith built key mod rail system, a slim profile key mod rail system. There's like some greasy stuff all over this thing. Uh, but the barrel nut is uh, it's steel, it's not aluminum, which is good. I also ordered with it this uh, because you the problem is this is not as wide as a standard wrench. Not to mention the fact that you know you need something with some socket holes on it to torque it down. But check this out. A label here. To prevent damage to your upper receiver, this tool has been designed to bend at 50 foot pounds. Well, you know, a barrel nut should go 30 foot pounds base and then up to 80 to get it to go, which brings up an interesting thing. This was supposed to include a shim kit. So just in case you're actually go like this just in case your screw holes there didn't align you know as you torque this should be aligning some screw holes uh, so if these didn't align you could put some shims between your barrel and the barrel nut which would change it and could potentially make for a tiny tiny little gap here but I guess I'll just have to hope for the best and hope that this lines up okay because I didn't get a shim kit uh, but this seems to fit down in there reasonably well it's not really and play at all. I think yeah, it's going to snug up well, but hopefully it'll torque in good. But it's good and light. I mean, I really like that part. And I'm curious about this bending at 50 foot pounds nonsense. So we'll see. Hopefully, I can get it at 30. And if it doesn't line up, it lines up really quick. But those are close together. So 30 to 50 should be able to get that, get that lined up. See a little flashing in one of those holes there. So I'll run my my screws at six of these mounts it in so there's that but at any rate this is the smithwick or smith built excuse me smith built slim 12 inch key mod rail free float system with a steel barrel nut and i'm gonna i'm making a little build kind of building the gun the way i wanted one uh got a few ars but i'm gonna build it the way i wanted uh wanted it built so i'm building a Mid-length barrel system, chrome-lined. Uh, I'm actually using a lightweight barrel so I can get it really light on the front end, which you may wonder why I went with a 12. Well, I wanted it to cover that instead of a 10, so I'll get less weight, but I wanted it to cover that, uh, that gas block uh, just so that would never, ever get bumped. Now I have to worry with it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to build out a gun the way I want, you know, with a uh, chrome-lined barrel, Using a Bear Creek upper, Bear Creek lower, using uh, going to be using a fail zero bolt carry. I'll be reviewing that shortly. 
but uh, quite a few little goodies that I'm putting on it that I've, that I've wanted. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, three millimeters for these, uh, these little screws, three millimeters. So that makes me definitely know that this is not made in the USA. Uh, it's supposed to be, I think, 6051 aircraft aluminum, something like that, you know, standard stuff. I don't, I don't expect I'll have any problems with it, but it didn't take a standard Allen wrench. It took a metric or hex wrench. So that means these are metric. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, everyone have a great day. Shoot safe. Have fun.